गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी आज एक स्पेशल वीडियो आपके सामने लेकर आया हूँ ये हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश दोनों में होगा दिस वीडियो इज़ गोइंग टू बी इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश बोथ सो दैट द व्यूअर कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑफ लेटली बहुत सारे लोग मेरे से ये पूछ रहे थे कि uh, uh, आप कोई कंपेरिजन वीडियो क्यों नहीं बनाते बिटवीन अ कैमरा एंड अ मोबाइल फ़ोन और बिटवीन uh, कैमराज आप क्यों नहीं बनाते uh, मेरा मत हमेशा से ये रहा है कि देर इज़ नो नीड फॉर मेकिंग एनी कंपेरिजन वीडियोस अंटिल अनलेस इट्स अ वेरी क्लोज कॉल यू नो इफ देर इज़ अ वेरी वेरी मिनिस्क्यूल और वेरी माइनर चेंजेस टिल देन देर इज़ नो नीड ऑफ यू टू एक्चुअली मेक एनी काइंड ऑफ कंपेरिजन वीडियोज इट इज़ नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एक्चुअली Say for example, I'm not going to take any brand's name, but let's say there is an X and there is an Y brand, and uh, both are cameras, both are mirrorless cameras, both are full frame cameras, and same company. There is no change in the company, but one is having a change of uh, every every spec of the hardware is the same, except there is a change. in one that there is no uh, there is no microphone uh, mic jack and the other one there is a mic jack but rest everything is the same and in which it is providing a mic jack it is charging you an exorbitant price then there is an ex- another example that uh, uh the x and y is the same same company two products two different products and the difference is in megapixel now one has both everything is similar everything is the same the hardware spec is the same everything is same but one is having a megapixel of 24.2 the other one is having a megapixel of 30.35.6 to mere kehne ka abhipray ye hai doston ki agar स्पेसिफिकेशंस में और हार्डवेयर के कॉन्फ़िगरेशन के अंदर एक बहुत ही माइनर सा एक बहुत ही मिनिस्क्यूल सा कोई बाल नशीन भर कोई डिफरेंस हो तो वो कंपैरिजन वीडियोस बनाना और उनके बारे में बात करना बखान करना अच्छा लगेगा लेकिन अगर एक बिल्कुल ही डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट है उसकी लाइन और रेंज बिल्कुल डिफरेंट है उसका पेनीट्रेशन बिल्कुल डिफरेंट है उसकी सेगमेंटेशन डिफरेंट है उसका कस्टमर लेवल बेस ही डिफरेंट है उसको कंपनी किसी और माते हद ध्यान में रखकर उस प्रोडक्ट को और उस लाइन को इंट्रोड्यूस कर रही है मार्केट के अंदर और ऐसे में आप उसका कंपैरिजन एक दूसरे एक ऐसे प्रोडक्ट के साथ करते हो जिसका अपना ही नीश मार्केट है उसकी अपनी एक नीश केपेबिलिटी है प्रोडक्ट की लाइनेज है उसकी एक डेफिनेशन है वहाँ पर और उसके साथ आप उसको कंपेयर करते हो तो ये गलत हो रहा है दिस इज़ अ रॉन्ग थिंग दैट यू आर डूइंग एंड दिस हैज़ टू स्टॉप इमीजिएटली वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग इज यू आर बिकमिंग पपेट्स और रैट्स टू दीज काइंड ऑफ मैनुफैक्चर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू नेम एनी मैनुफैक्चर है बट द फैक्ट इज इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बिकम अ रैट और पपेट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर मैनुफैक्चर और पर्टिकुलर मैनुफैक्चर देन एक्चुअली यू आर डूइंग समथिंग purposely wrong or you are just nerdy or you are very greedy or hungry to just to have your say into a fraternity which is called as youtube end of the day your only idea is to mint money and that my video should be liked and seen by every tom dick and harry on the face of earth this is what your intention is running and that's the reason you are making these kind of foolish videos without having understanding or say of the product hello friends good evening once again i am here with a particular set of video this video is directed towards those people who are actually making comparative videos comparison videos videos which are actually not not actually required or they are not even making any sense to be made and they are just making it for the sake of making and they are just making it because they want to mint money out of it and that's the only reason why they are doing this particular kind of job now 
I have no personal glitches with these kind of people because I find them very funny on the first place because uh, either they are uh, they are too intellect they are too intelligent they are actually uh, the owners of the particular set of company whose product they are reviewing and talking about in comparison to people or their experience has really gone over past their uh, own age and levels and have casted shadow on their understanding of belief about that particular product now my words are going to be little harsher here but the fact remains is that uh, any of it is doesn't make sense and it's non equated actually without understanding why that particular product is designed for whom it is being designed and why it is being placed the way it is being showcased and marketed and propagandized about now most of us i would say like uh, 95% of the people on the face of the earth they have no idea why they are buying what they are buying and f- what is the actual need for them to buy and i tell you the reason why they are doing so the reason they are doing so is because they are getting habit you know habitual about seeing you me talking about it like right now i am talking about something which is actually will be taken as a very negative uh, comment by majority of you that he is talking against something about which he doesn't know about anything but the fact remains is that 95% of the people they buy the product because they are getting instigated and stimulated by people who are actually have no idea about the product and they are sitting there and trying to become the reviewers of that product in a fashion where they have no idea or clue why that has been made and for whom it is been designed and who it is getting targeted for and all kind of stupidic comparisons that they are making i mean like seriously stupidic comparisons you are comparing uh, you are for ex- for instance uh, you are you are comparing um an slr a dslr with a mobile you're comparing a full frame full size camera with a mobile camera i mean really is it is it really making sense in any form i see lot many um, i i shouldn't be saying it but lot many uh, youtubers are there who are actually doing nonsense comparisons about products which they have no idea about on the first place uh the other aspect of it is remains is uh, there are only only uh example if i can take is and uh, quote i cannot even quote them because they exist in a very non existing manner because uh, these people they are very smart people they they exactly know that on youtube 90% of the videos are actually nonsense that doesn't make sense at all okay they talk about tutorials tutorials at a stretch about a particular uh, band is all right but at a, a stretch about a particular software is all fine that's all that's okay but when it comes to a certain software product you yourself haven't dwelled into it in more appropriate manner and you have just you know popped up a video on youtube and you're throwing it on the face of people to let them judge about it and be the character of it so that's something is non acceptable zone now this video is going to be a little longer than the usual so bear with me about that so today i'm going to talk about uh, the uh, nuisance that is being created on youtube because of nonsensical videos that have been made by people which actually doesn't make sense when they talk about comparisons or they are trying to draw comparison between two d- such products which are not even aligned or they have been crafted or designated or designed to cater the same people in the same society so each and every product ranges differently to people now this this can come as a very contradictory statement but then in the long run if you're going to listen to me you will understand analyze it that yes i am making sense all the way so stay with me all right so uh, when you say uh, let's begin with uh, with this fact that uh, you are taking two products here i'm not going to name any 
person in specific certain products name can be taken uh, just to bring a little more clarity to what i'm trying to say here is if you're talking about a product like sony and if you're trying to compare it with samsung's uh, higher end niche phones and you're taking a sony product which is a top of the line uh, class product which is a full frame full size sensor and you are actually comparing it with uh, samsung's uh, top niche uh, brand of line of mobile phones uh, with the camera setup i think first of all you are a stupid person to do that kind of a comparison because it doesn't make sense on the first place now secondly uh, most of the videos in the youtubers the videos that i see they are actually being promoted uh, they pay a lot of ransom to promote the videos they pay a lot of money to get their uh, uh reach percentile happen boost their thing and boosting and making reach to people and they are actually making fool out of people actually make by creating such kind of videos you know it's stupidic but having blaming them and having uh, cursing them in such a manner but, but the curse actually comes back to people like me also who are like 95% of us are like that why because uh, we are we have no idea i mean like we we don't even know what this product is all about and we really need to buy that product why because certain tom dick and harry has just talked about it very brilliantly in his video and this guy is holding a 8 to 15 years of experience and he knows the product in and out like anything now apparently we don't even try to strike a balance here in understanding that this particular person in question is already talking about that one particular such product he has no idea how the other line of products work he has no idea what are the other variations available in the market he has done no research in the market he has not gone into the market aspect at all he has no understanding why this particular product that he is talking about in question is been introduced into the market and what people it is being targeted at only the manufacturer knows this only the manufacturer's research team knows this so who you and i are we are just like we when i say we you and me we are just like testers introduce to us throw it on the face let them decide let them think let's give it and see every manufacturer does this now this can happen with uh, with a class line of products this can actually happen when i say a cla a class line this this actually implies to any product now this this has a range from automotive industry to to uh, photographic industry cinematic industry or to or to uh, sorry to creative industry or to non creative blend of industry or any industry for that matter any industry that actually caters its need it actually implies to that however since we are herd we are just like herd we have no idea we have no brains we don't use our brains we don't want to use it somebody told us the grass is green on the other side we need to walk that land go there and we are walking that none of us would like to actually go into or dwell into the fact that how far it is good and how far it is bad why because we don't care we don't want to care we just want to have that particular product why because there is one guy sitting there on the screen he just said it is a wonderful product now if i name one particular product right now you will actually chasing out to the market the next day springing out for or uh, right out of your bed and heading directly to the market and to that particular shop and say hey i need that particular product why because i have been told that it is a very good product why why do you why do you have to be so reactive toward that particular instinct you could sit back you can stay back okay the information has been relayed now the information you haven't assessed or analyzed whether it is actually working in your favor or it's not working in your favor do you actually require that product have you actually questioned that to yourself where exactly does it fits you well you didn't ask this particular question to yourself you what you did is you actually have gone just by listening to one person and you just have decided no i want to buy that particular product why because that particular person had told me no this is a very good product seriously 
you are not reading specifications that person is not talking to you about specifications in particular why because he doesn't dwelling into that much what he is actually trying to do is he is just throwing at you a thrash a uh, all crash crap he is throwing at you he is not talking about technical specifications he is not talking about what that actually product is and why that particular manufacturer has designed it you are not making any effort at the same time to actually reach to the manufacturer and ask them this these set of line of questions many youtubers who are now coming up they are babies i would say them they are babies why because they are very young they may be they may be like starting ages would be like uh, anything like 12 years 13 years this is a starting age i am talking about starting 13 14 15 max they are very young and maximum is no limit however they are minting money now this is the biggest deal you know everything boils up to what money and they are making money so nobody minds it nobody actually even feels about it that no it's wrong and it shouldn't be like this nobody talks about that but the fact remains is that if you are not actually dwelling into the right kind of questioning for that particular product you will never come to know which is actually most suitable for you why because you are just being played like a herd herd of goats mice rats you've been pushed into one side so ask yourself why do you have to take that particular product why if somebody has talked about so much in a big big way he may be having a followers of like 29 billion people following him he can't go wrong why who says that he can't go wrong is he is he lord jesus that he can't go wrong why do you actually need to buy that particular product or that particular line of product do you actually need it the first question is this do you actually need it if you don't need it then why are you gunning for it this actually is implying to every product i'm not talking about any specific product here i'm not naming any brand in here in specific not against any brand or any person in specific on youtube either but the fact remains is that i'm i've been seeing a lot of people who are you know throwing these kind of thrashes on us and every every now and then there is a video popping up the moment I, even this very moment there will be billion of videos that have been getting uploaded while i'm making this particular video for you all but the fact remains is none of them actually know why that particular line of product is being introduced in the market and which particular need of that market is getting completed by that particular product so it remains very much unanswered on that aspect why because we are not hungry to know we are not eager to know we just if say for example an xyz it's an automotive company it's producing a massive massive production of two wheelers and they are actually bringing in a very robust kind of line of uh, motorcycles to the market and you are just gone very hungrier to just now i need to have this why i watched that particular video on youtube and that particular guy said no it's absolutely brilliant i've been driving like for 20000 kilometers i've been driving it for like 50000 kilometers and damn this machine is something man when <laughs> you when you purchase that particular machine why because you just believe that person who just made you believe that he actually has driven 50000 kilometers on that particular machine how do you know how do you know no oh, he is posting every blog there is every blog that he is posting he is a vlogger he is a motor vlogger he is posting everything he is posting he is telling everything seriously Fifty thousand kilometers on that particular machine, and he's still keeping it two wheeler. The first question that pops to my mind. I'm not talking about the product, but 
the way it is being positioned out to you the way we have been conditioned to believe is what i am actually questioning this is what exactly i am actually questioning at how do you know so don't just blindly follow what is being conditioned to you to follow go ahead take extra steps try and find out dig more get in touch with the manufacturers send them your email ask them questions ask them ask them to satisfy your need ask them tell them that i want to know this i want to know this prepare your sheet prepare your outlook end of the day it's your money that counts a lot and nowadays things are getting very different every part of the world it's very different whether it is us whether it is india whether it is any part of the europe or any place any place you name it it's very things are not the same as previously 20 years back they have all changed now specifications have changed the uh, governments have changed the functioning of the governments have changed pandemic has changed everything now every penny counts every business counts every measure counts so if that counts it actually uh, makes an impact to you as well so why don't you make an extra effort to try and find out if this one particular person is making a vlog a moto vlog and he's trying to find out if this is a true or false and he's trying to push you towards to towards that product no you buy this range you buy this particular range of product no i know this is very good product why because i just driven 50000 kilometers on this particular product and this product range is out to be very nice i think this is something where you really need to put him into question and ask are you are you truly making sense about it or not because 50000 kilometers any any product that you actually are driving in this long and you still keeping it with you it makes me actually think twice faster in my brain oh boss how much money you have actually now infused in to maintain that particular uh, mechanical thing that you are keeping with you so there is a lot that actually goes into the stream okay because even a uh, even this is i'm just giving you an example if if you keep something for a very long period of time and you are actually abusing it there is an abuse that also that goes with that particular product whether whether it is an automated product or it's any other product that you're using there is a lifeline to it after a certain period it will start to decline say for example there is an xyz product it says the limited warranty is only up to 40000 kilometers and you have driven 50000 kilometers on that one particular product 40000 kilometers or one year this is what the warranty line of the manufacturer has been given normally these days right and if you are talking about any other product in that line the two year line infringement two years go maximum is five years warranty period or 50000 km or 1 lakh km that's it there's nothing more than 1 lakh is being guaranteed only in certain other products is it, the line may actually go up to 2 lakhs but then there is a degrade of uh, of uh, number of years and conditions apply in every aspect to it so how do you know which is good for you and which is bad for you just just because one person just say no this is good for you seriously think from here so now what i am trying to say here is that not every youtuber that you see is wrong but majority of them are not in place i can guarantee you this majority of them have no clue what they are talking about majority of them are actually more focused on making money they are pushing you to see their particular video they are not masters they have not done any science they have not manufactured any kind of product in their lifetime okay they don't understand the basic marketing strategy behind any product why this particular product is there if i ask you why do you use surf why do you use surf you really have no good answer to me to give you know because you have no idea why that particular product has been designed and for what reason it is being designed for now very very vaguely you can answer to my question is no it is being designed to clean the clothes dirty clothes this is what the detergents are supposed to do do you know what is the compound that is used in a detergent the most which is actually not required detergents are not necessary for clothes at all on the first place simple water can work 
but no why because we are being conditioned as such that we really need to have a soap to clean our clothes this is the way we have been conditioned this is the way our brain has been designed to work and this is where the implications start and complications begin it is very later that we start realizing that no actually it was not my requirement but i was doing what i was following someone else's order so i really need to follow that why because everybody else is doing it what's wrong in it do you know actually you don't require to use soap to clean your clothes soaps are only required if they are very greased and dirty if they are very black if they are if you're working in a very heavy industrial sites or very uh, dirty environment there's a lot of dust there's a lot of dirt there in and every day your clothes are getting dirty that's when you require a soap you don't require soap otherwise you can simply put your clothes in water soak them for half an hour one hour you can pull them out clean them in a fresh water squeeze them shred them and put them to dry and they are good to wear again but no why because we are being conditioned to use a soap we are con- we are being conditioned to use a detergent why because otherwise you will feel very bad we we don't feel that it's not clean did anyone told you that if i tell you today that don't use stop using detergent just use two cups of vinegar into a bucket of water of filled with clothes and you don't require uh, detergent after that you won't believe me now do you you won't believe me the reason is you just heard just what i just told you do you actually didn't make you didn't actually question yourself what did i said right you didn't actually question me i just said if you use two cups of vinegar in one bucket full of clothes filled with water what kind of clothes are they too dirty they are greased non greased what kind of clothes so you didn't heard me you know you just took me you you just i just now said it to you and you just took it to me that oh and now you will do it because just because i just said it now you're going to do it and the moment you're going to do it and the next day or day after you're going to come back and say in my comment line oh, what the hell were you talking man it doesn't make any sense to me why because you didn't followed you didn't paid attention to what i was saying you actually didn't try to make any effort to understand what i was trying to say and this exactly where the problem comes in so you purchase a particular product and then you later on after purchasing the product you realize oh ho oh, i made a mistake i shouldn't have been buying this particular product it's, it's not suiting me the reason is because you didn't pay attention to the details you missed on the details now this can be with automotive this can be with uh, creative fields anything related to cameras anything related to with cars scooters whatever just because you were not attentive you just made a mistake of your lifetime you invested very precious amount of your earning into it if i'm not wrong a person invest in his passion from his income at least 10 to 15% he just lost that 15% in a wrong investment for your passion why because you didn't paid attention to the detail so guys my request to you would be please don't follow every youtuber they are nothing but full of shacks they have no clue what they are doing except their only one motive in life that they really want to mint money they are making money because they exist because of you and me that is the only primary reason they are existing there is no other way there is no other reason if you have to test if you have to test and believe on any particular product you really need to first find out dig out more about that particular information just don't rely on that particular youtuber youtuber can be one first step to an information it's not the final graft it's not the final decision making point go ahead go deeper more 
try and do more research on it try and understand why this particular product has been placed in the market in the first place how it can benefit me what is the need for me why i should actually buy this particular product how it is going to satisfy my need only then decide to invest in that particular product otherwise step down sit back wait for the right time and epitome for that for that particular product that you have been waiting for let it come it will come companies are not fool manufacturers are not idiots they are very smart people they are very very smart people and that's the reason they are sitting as manufacturers we are sitting as buyers for their product so please sit listen watch but here don't take everything here here is what you need to start thinking and understand that i really need this only then only then once you have thought yes it is actually going to work in this particular environment for my need it is good because in a european environment conditions are different in indian context in asian environment things are very different they are not the same tropical environments things are not the same subtropical regions things are not the same india is extreme temperatures extreme heat extreme rain extreme winters everything is on an extreme end so certain products are not maybe aligned for india at all and maybe in the other part of the world is rocking like anything and you just gone very influenced by one particular youtuber and you say no i need to buy this i need to buy this leke dekh lete yaar kya farak pad raha hai farak baad mein padta hai jab lene ke baad matha pakad ke baithte ho aise yaar yaane kya le liya yaar ye to galti ho gaya yaar bahut bada galti kar liya okay take care goodbye